So with Xbox Cloud Gaming having so many games on its service, it can be really hard to figure out what to play with your limited time and your busy schedule. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys the best 25 xCloud games you can play today. Thumbs up on this video so we can reach more Xbox Cloud Gaming users. We're going to start this list off with the newest intro into the Life is Strange franchise. That is Life is Strange 2 Colors. Now, if you've never experienced this franchise, I think you guys will be in for an awesome ride. It's a full-blown narrative-based title where your decisions, including those tough decisions you will make will change the course of the story you're in. Here you play as Alex Chen who is trying to uncover the truth of her brother's supposed accident but she must embrace her supernatural powers to help her solve the case but she has been suppressing that for quite some time. I can tell you guys firsthand the story in this game is absolutely top notch and of course I won't give you guys any spoilers but man it is dang good and it also comes with thousands of positive user reviews since the game released late last year and it's been getting tons of accolades. If you guys are interested you can play this one across all of Xbox, including Xbox Cloud Gaming. While Skyrim might be over 10 years old, I really think it's safe to say this classic never fails. The remastered edition brings a whole new life to this epic open world sandbox RPG with new remastered art and effects, even some newly made gameplay with new quests, characters, dialogue, armor, weapons, and a lot more. Now, if you've somehow managed to not hop in Skyrim for a while or if you've never even played it, you're really in for one of the most epic journeys in all of gaming. There's a reason this game is on every single major platform and every single spot it can be that's because it plays amazing and that goes for the cloud on xbox cloud gaming so MLB The Show 22, guys, continues the same fire with the Road to the Show this year that has the ultimate career mode with essentially your own baseball RPG experience, which I think is pretty nuts. Then you have Diamond Dynasty. This is the fantasy card collection gameplay with an all-new mini-season mode. But one thing I love this year with MLB The Show 22 is the cross-platform play alongside the cross-progression, guys. So if you happen to own, like, a Nintendo Switch or some other um, console, you can go ahead and play this there and jump on your player on Xbox, then move somewhere else and come back. So to me, that was very exciting to see. Typically, what you get in a $60 game on a yearly basis is completely available with your Game Pass subscription. I've been a huge fan of this franchise for half a decade, and I couldn't recommend this more. One of my favorite top 20 games of this past decade is Shadow of War Middle Earth and a big reason for that is the Nemesis system. Something only available in this franchise where your enemies and encounters are remembered in future fights. You lose a battle to a famous orc, he's going to come back and recall details of your fight when you meet him again. Not only that, but it has a full-fledged open world RPG and guys, there's just an insane amount of replayability you can get out of this game because you'll always be in different scenarios. It has to be on the list for an experience that will be completely unique, even if you only hop in for a few hours just to test out that Nemesis system. Again, check out this game. You won't find anything different on Xbox Game Pass, especially if you play this in the cloud. Now, Gears 5 in 2022 has turned into a pretty overall well-rounded title and an awesome Xbox exclusive, featuring a single-player campaign with linear scenarios, but also several hub worlds where you can explore them freely, doing various side quests and, of course, beating the adventure itself. But when that's done, hopping into some cooperative online play can absolutely be fun and your jam. There's also several modes you can team up with others, but there's also a full-fledged player-versus-player competitive modes as well, like a team deathmatch. King of the Hill, and a lot more. So if you guys are looking for that all-around third-person, well-rounded Xbox shooter exclusive, you're not going to want to miss out on Gears 5. Now, Back for Blood draws its inspirations from the Left 4 Dead series, only we're getting a full-blown 2022 version, a four-player cooperative action multiplayer shooter where you fight your way through the campaign working together and, of course, trying to survive the zombies. The gameplay for this one is a really fun one, but I will say it does come with some mixed reviews, but I wanted to add it to the list because sometimes at the end of the day, you just want a mindless shooter that's just plain fun, and honestly, that's what Back for Blood brings. Now, Children of Morta has you playing as a full family trying to fight off evil. You can play as every member in this family in this roguelike RPG that has you full on dungeon crawling. It's almost like a Diablo-like title, just kind of without the loot. But even so, this pixel art visuals here are some of the best I've ever seen. The combat in this game is absolutely fantastic. Gameplay is just fast and fluid. Honestly, guys, it's one of my favorite indie games of the past few years. Also mixed with this procedurally generated levels and characters with different skills you really have a lot to sink into and a lot to bite into and it's definitely one to enjoy on xbox game pass 
Now, in a game that till this day is still one of the most popular multiplayer games on the market, and it isn't a shooter, it isn't an MMO or a MOBA, Dead by Daylight stands out from the rest. And if you think this is a horror game, eh, not really. It's a 4v1 multiplayer game where one person controls the killer, and your job as the killer is to not let the other four escape as the survivors. Now, as the survivor, you work together to get out alive. It's a really addicting formula. The games are very quick. There's always different experiences experiences each match and honestly there's tons to grind but in a fun way there's tons of maps there's tons of playable characters i personally myself have spent hundreds of hours buried in this game and it's a game like many of you probably didn't think much if you've never played it before but guys it's a fun adrenaline filled action pack game and certainly needed to make my top 30. Now, while Fallout 4 had a rocky launch many years ago, the game has been really fleshed out. This game in this classic franchise many years later really stands the test of time, features tons of DLC, tons of story content, and really just a huge post-apocalyptic world you can explore. This has been my favorite franchise of the last decade, and with Xbox now owning Bethesda, there has never been a better time to jump into this one in anticipation for future potential exclusive Fallout titles. Guys, there's hundreds of hours here to get into tons of stories to follow through if you haven't dived into fallout 4 do yourself a huge favor now roguelike games are one of the oldest genres that still to this day are pretty popular if you're a fan of roguelike games hades i think some must play on this list the game has some of the most unique yet catchy visuals with an equally exciting action-packed combat level generation system that's going to test your gaming skills quite a bit now coming from super giant games this hack and slash isometric roguelike is really unlike anything you've ever seen before and now that you can finally play this on game pass you're going to see how insanely detailed this greek mythology based game actually is if this were a list of the best roguelike games this game would be absolutely at the top without a second thought now listen, I'm sure most of you have heard about this game, but if you weren't convinced to play it or try it, you should definitely check it out now if you have Game Pass. Hellblade tells the story of a young Viking warrior who goes through Helheim, a literal hell of a place, just so her lover's soul could rest. The game truly pushes the limit of how the story unfolds and how Sanua's journey connects the players to the protagonist and the way her actions and suffering really affect you. On top of that, Hellblade has got some of the really, I mean this, some of the best visuals and environment settings that are going to totally immerse you in no way any other game ever has. The game's no less than an emotional drama with one of the most satisfying endings in gaming history. Guys, this is also on the heels of the newest Hellblade. You have to jump in. If there's any game on this list, check out Hellblade Senua on Xbox Game Pass. Now, when I tell you guys that It Takes Two might be one of my most favorite co-op games of all time, I am not understating that. This was the winner of the Game of the Year in 2021, and here you take on two characters in either Cody or May, who get turned into dolls by a magic spell, but now must find a way back into the real world. Put it simply, the cooperative nature of having to work with someone is probably the most unique with these like crazy environments. The gameplay elements you'll see here are something completely unique as well, and the co-op nature of this is just mind-blowing when i booted this game i really had no clue it was going to be this good i really came away not shocked that this was the game of the year in 2021 do yourself a favor if you have a friend to play with online or couch co-op get this one in and play it immediately now, the original classics of the Mass Effect have now been remastered to 4K Ultra HD, and man, I think it's safe to say this is one of the most incredible gaming journeys across the trilogy that you can experience in gaming as you relive the story of Commander Shepard and his crew going across the galaxy trying to save humanity. It's a full-blown story where your choices matter and where you can decide and dictate what happens in the end. I've had my chance to relive this journey yet again. It's one of those classic gaming stories that really separates itself from like a movie movie or a TV show because you're the one in the driver's seat, not just making grand choices, but even the small ones that could make a huge difference. There's even choices of who you can romanticize and just so much more. One of the best franchises of all time and one if you haven't had a chance to definitely get in there because I'm jealous that you haven't gotten your chance to enjoy a hell of a ride. Now, Flight Simulator is an absolute wonder of a game, and it being an Xbox Series X exclusive really shows the power of what this console is capable of. 
being as real as a simulator as it can get certainly can definitely get daunting trying to jump into this one get into that cockpit but if you're able to get off the ground you'll be experiencing something magical the game generates terrain and scenery based off satellite imagery and uses data from bing maps to showcase the world so you're getting that real-time experience guys this is an amazing game a relaxing one and it's certainly a game worth checking out on this list so one of my favorite fighting games of all time is on this list in Mortal Kombat 11. And one of the reasons is one of my favorites, put it frankly, guys, I don't like fighting games. It's actually one of my least favorite genres, but Mortal Kombat 11 sucked me in into its very insane story, converted me loving this action-packed gameplay it features, brutal fatalities, and featuring tons of different modes. If you want an awesome, high-quality fighting game, this is it for you on Game Pass. Near Automa tells the story of these android soldiers sent by the last resistance of humans to take the world back from these mechanical beings from another world. I mean, that story right there is super interesting as heck, but the open world crafted story, awesome fast gameplay and characters really solidified this title for me to put it on this list. Mixed with some elements of RPG, you can see why this title is in my opinion one of the best top 30 you can play on Xbox Game Pass. Now, don't let the visuals fool you on this one. Octopath Traveler is a deep story RPG I recently got into. It features a ton of stories that you'll be following, but they also all intertwine, each with their own backstory. The game features like this really neat, fast strategy combat. It's really like the best way for me to explain it. And I'm typically not the biggest strategy RPG, guys. I prefer action combat. But in this game, it's done really well and almost combines both. You'll have to kind of see it to believe it. Now, there's fully voiced stories with the main characters. And on Honestly, it's an adventure that's going to take some time to get into and finish, but really, it's easily one of my most highly suggested RPGs on this list, and one that you should absolutely dive into with Xbox Game Pass. Now, this is probably going to be one of the only 2D platformers on this list, quite rightfully so, because when it comes to some amazing visuals, eye-catching VFX, a great story, smooth gameplay, and pretty much anything that makes a true masterpiece, Ori and the Will of the Wisp has it all. This is an all-in-one package that comes jammed packed with some of the most addictive gameplay ever experienced in any title. The game takes you on this wild journey in some beautifully crafted realms filled with some gigantic monsters. One of the things that I love most about this game is the extremely smooth combat animations, and that animation just makes everything a hundred times awesome in this game. Absolutely worth checking out here on Xbox Game Pass. Now, Outriders is a game that really made a lot of noise in 2021. It ended up being one of the best looter shooters released that year. And how could it not be, considering the game comes from Square Enix? The game gives you this constant feeling of a rush and adrenaline as you fly through a slew of enemies using not only your weapons, but some really awesome, cool-looking powers that rip your enemies apart. This is definitely a AAA quality title, one of the best games in my opinion on Game Pass, and it's one that's going to keep you hooked for many hours. Now, Plague Tales Innocence is one of my favorite games on this list for a ton of reasons. This AAA title set in an alternate history beautifully portrays the story of these two young noble siblings caught in the middle of politics and religion trying to find a cure to this rat-infested bubonic plague. Now, this story-driven game really puts you in the shoes of these vulnerable siblings as they try to stay alive using nothing but their smarts and stealth. Plague Tales takes you on a journey filled with secrets, mysteries and emotions with some awesome gameplay definitely worth checking out on game pass psychonauts 2 continues the adventures of the previous game a platform adventure with tons of crazy cast of characters a colorful world side activities that you can tackle and of course the customizable psychic powers this title in my opinion is one of the best to have released in 2021 with the vast array of powerful abilities to blasting burning and even slowing time itself all the while battling some strange creatures solving environmental puzzles guys this is a game with tons of charm don't let this one slip you by if you haven't dived into it just yet but one of the few player versus player games on this list rainbow six siege even after being released a years ago has remained one of the most popular first person tactical shooters on the market and I'd even argue of all time. Now with tons of operators to choose from, gameplay that's fantastic and fast paced, you'll always have that mantra of just one more round, one more game. If you're looking for a competitive experience, you have it here, and personally, I couldn't recommend this game more. 
Now, Rainbow Six Extraction has made the list not because it really does anything new or super exciting, but it's just a solid game. A game where you jump in with just you and two other players taking on objectives, working together with your unique operative. The game does draw some heavy inspirations from like its brother Rainbow Six Siege, but really that's kind of where it ends. The game is really difficult, so communication with your squad is going to be very key, and the gameplay, you're going to have to be pretty decent at this game. It's a pretty high quality title that's released here in 2022 and one that absolutely comes highly recommended on this list now to say resident evil is a heck of an experience is honestly an understatement you play as a guy trying to find what happened to his lady in an abandoned southern farmhouse the jump scares the brutalness of this games the things that could make you even gag i mean this is what i call an experience in gaming now this game still has its tried and true puzzles and exploring you're used to with the resident evil franchise but the story here absolutely draws you in i'm actually not typically a fan of horror games but i couldn't recommend a resident evil 7 more even if you've never jumped into another resident evil game like me it's a fun one and guys honestly don't miss out on one of the craziest adventures you'll ever have in all of gaming Sea of Thieves isn't a new game. Hell, it's been around for about three years, but the reason why I wanted to include it in this list is because unlike other games, Sea of Thieves is constantly being updated with tons of fixes, new in-game content to really make worth playing it this year. I personally dig the whole unique gameplay and combat system, where unlike other traditional multiplayer shooters, you have to work as a team to actually find areas using your compass, using the same weapons as any other players in the game, and really work together to sail your own ship as you battle it out with other players and i think this unique combat system and gameplay really makes sea of thieves one of the better multiplayer games on game pass Coming from EA and Respawn, this Star Wars inspired game has pretty much everything you could wish for. It's got a great story, absolutely stunning visuals, fast paced action combat, and some really great voice acting that really adds to the immersion of the game that it's trying to create. And I think this is a very underrated aspect of this game. Although I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, this one in particular is a mix of everything that is good in a ton of games out there on the market. Definitely worth checking out if you love single player story games, because honestly, Honestly, it doesn't get much better than this one. Now, it's going to be really hard for me not to mention State of Decay 2 in every list going forward. Guys, this is one of my favorite games of all time. A game that four years later is still getting huge monthly updates while they are working on the newest State of Decay 3. Now, one of the few sandbox PvE zombie games on the market, the game these days has really ratched up in difficulty and has you almost at the edge of your seat all the time, mixed with a perma-death style of gameplay and community, having to survive and then clear claim your bases and use those as your main hubs. This is still one of the best supported Xbox exclusives and is a must play on this entire list. Now, one of the reasons why a lot of players hesitate to get started with the Yakuza franchise tends to be because they have to start from the very beginning of the series just to kind of get a sense of what the story is all about. Fortunately, though, Like a Dragon gives you a chance to jump into a uniquely crafted game that takes you to the world of Crime Lords, where you have to take on a plethora of tasks to progress through this crazy, twisting story. Now, Like a Dragon is an absolute thriller for anyone who craves action-packed fight scenes with a great story and some pretty pretty unforgettable characters. This game checks it all guys. It gives you a nice overview of what the series is all about in case you guys want to jump into this franchise finally for the first time. Fast paced combat, brutal and gory and insanely hard is what I described Doom Eternal. If you want your gamer skills put to the absolute test, this is the game. I've been a big fan of this title since it came out years ago. Guys, it's just a mindless action game where you do at times have to outsmart your enemy but one of the awesome things is how Doom Eternal really showcases how good the Xbox Series X is. Even if you don't have an Xbox Series S or X, this is one of the best games to have released in the past few years and a hell-raised adventure that I couldn't recommend more. So Forza 5 has come out to be one of the best car-driven games to release in the past few years, featuring a vibrant, ever-evolving open world filled with limitless amount of activities and fun, tons of cars that you can choose from. Guys, this is one of those games that really brings the magic of what next-gen gaming is, being able to team up with other players or participate in custom races, challenges, and stunts also really brings the magic and potential of what a racer in car title can do and should do. Easily one of my favorite games on this entire list. 
So Halo Infinite bursted onto the scene in late 2021 and it hasn't looked back, featuring a full-fledged multiplayer experience that is insane and wildly fun, mixed in with a campaign mode where you take on Master Chief. Guys, there's a ton to get into playing this on Xbox Game Pass, and honestly, do yourself a favor as it's not really the Xbox experience if you don't jump in and play a Halo game this generation. With that guys, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up and click the video on the top left for the latest Xbox Cloud Gaming news.